In today's video, we will look at how to stake Atom, the native token of the Cosmos network. A quick disclaimer, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This video is for educational purposes only. Looking at the first set of options, hardware wallets. So keeping your crypto offline, you have full control of the private keys to access your funds. We will focus on Ledger hardware wallets, the Nano S and X. If you type in Cosmos on their list of supported assets, wallets through Ledger Live, Looney and Cosmos Station. To begin with Ledger Live, the in-house application, you download the app for your respective operating system. We will look at desktop wallets for this video. On launch, this is what you will see. As Atom is a supported asset, you just go to add account, type in the name and you'll see it listed there. Continue. You have to ensure that your device remains unlocked and you have the Cosmos app open on the screen throughout this process. Create a wallet name and then add account. Now that you've set that up, go to accounts, you click on your Atom wallet. As you don't have any funds yet, you need to click receive. This will then generate an address so you can send your funds to this wallet from your preferred exchange. Once you receive Atom into your wallet, click on the wallet overview and go to earn rewards. So a couple of important considerations to make. Firstly, there is a 21 day withholding period before you can access your Atom once again. Secondly, you need to ensure that you pick a suitable validator so that you don't permanently lose the staked rewards. The initial amount should be safe, but you don't want to lose the rewards nonetheless. In regards to finding a trustworthy validator, I came across this website called Mint Scan. I'll touch on some of the key characteristics here. First and foremost, the commission these validators are taking to then stake your funds. For anything that has zero commission at a given point in time, you should always look at the conditions associated with that. And on the flip side, you should be cautious of anything with 100% commission. Having said that, in regards to Kraken here on the screen, what I think is the case is the exchange is taking it all and then they will subsequently distribute a portion of that to their users, whoever is staking Atom. The next important characteristic here is uptime. Fortunately, most of these major validators seem to have a 100% uptime or something very close to that. When there is downtime, you get blocks being skipped. If that happens repeatedly, then from my understanding, rewards can get slashed. So you're missing out. If you pick a validator with a solid reputation, this rarely occurs and is reflected by the uptime. For some people, voting power is a consideration that they factor in. If they want to help distribute the voting power and avoid concentrating it amongst a small number of delegators, and that's reflected by the cumulative share in the top 10. Just some food for thought. Having said that, these tend to have a fairly positive reputation because they've got the experience or the resources to effectively manage these larger pools. So plenty of options here. Take some time to look into some preferred delegators, especially if you're planning to stake a lot of Atom. Look at their social media, read some reviews about them, see what people have to say, just to get a good understanding of what this all entails. This is a good starting point. I also came across this website called Stakefish. Now that I've covered all of that, returning to the staking process through Ledger Live, so you can choose one from the list that I showed you earlier. Alternatively, you can pick one from the set of options provided here. So once selected, you click continue, you get a summary of the transaction, confirm the details as well through your Nano S or X, press both buttons simultaneously to verify. If it is successful, you will receive this message. It's a very straightforward process. So that is all that is involved. To check that the staking is active, you should see minuscule amounts of Atom accumulating shortly after you've made the delegation. If you would like to undelegate your assets and stop the staking process, you go to Claim Rewards. You can compound and add this balance to your original staking amount or cash in and just take the funds. For the second option, once again through a Ledger wallet, there is Looney and Cosmos Station. Despite being listed, According to this Medium article, they will be shutting down their mobile and web apps and no longer provide the browser extension. For more details, I recommend checking out this piece, links to this and other resources available in the description. 
which leads me to Cosmos Station. I'll show you how to stake through this product. Ensuring that you have your hardware wallet connected and the Cosmos app open, click on Connect Wallet, Connect to Ledger. This is what you should see on the screen, this wallet overview. What I find useful that is not available on Ledger Live, well not directly, it will give you the different delegating options and the summary of details that I referred to earlier. So I'm just gonna pick one here. Generate and sign transaction, you then confirm through your ledger. The transaction has gone through. If you go back to your wallet and then you refresh the page, this will then have the updated delegated amount. There are already some rewards going through. That is how you stake through Ledger Live and Cosmos Station. In terms of other hardware wallet brands, one that comes to mind that does have Cosmos support is Elipal. I haven't used this before. It seems to be a good alternative with plenty of supported cryptos listed here. If I type in Cosmos, they do offer staking. So if you have one of their products, that's something to look into. Another hardware wallet I would generally recommend is a Trezor. According to their website, there is no support for Atom. I hope they do provide this option in the near future. I'm still listing this as it is a popular alternative to Ledger. Moving on to some desktop and mobile options. So these are also considered non-custodial. The private keys are held on your device. If you maintain excellent cybersecurity and you keep your recovery phrase or the set of backup words offline in a secure place, then these wallets are good alternatives to Ledger or Trezor devices. So we have Exodus and there is Cosmos listed here, a very good APY, 13.24%. So just skimming through these, we've got Atomic Wallet. If you go to the specific Cosmos or Atom page, earn 10% rewards with Cosmos staking and Garda. If you go to their staking options, Atom is also provided here in terms of support, a 9% annual yield. But do look around to get the best deal. The reason I've just skimmed through this, it's a fairly straightforward process. You launch the app, add the wallet, deposit funds, Look for the Earn or Staking tab. I'm giving you these generic directions because this should be a fairly standardized process across multiple wallets. Just wanted to make it clear before continuing, none of this is paid advertising. I don't get any incentive to talk about these products or exchanges. It's my least recommended choice, but some people prefer to stake through an exchange and notably the larger ones. Binance is a key example. If you want to earn staking rewards on your cryptos, all exchanges should have either an earn or staking tab. You click on that. Binance tends to have the most comprehensive range of staking assets. There is KuCoin, which has a similar layout. They've got pretty good support for staking cryptos as well. A minimum amount of one. Various durations here. You can earn rewards of about 12.8%. Kraken. Another popular choice, they've got clients around the world. If you go to their earn section or staking, Cosmos is listed here, 7.5% per year. To be honest, it's rather mediocre when you look at the alternatives that I've spoken about. For anyone based in Australia, SwiftX is a reputable exchange. Various people have recommended this to me, but of course, do your own research. I noticed they offer staking rewards. You scroll down and Atom is a compatible crypto if you want to delegate your funds. And there is no unlocking period as well. And that's a wrap for the video. I think I've covered all of the relevant information to be able to stake your Atom. If you're interested in similar content, I have this video about DOT staking and several other staking cryptos as per this playlist on the screen. Like the video, share it, and subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this. Thanks for tuning in and more videos coming shortly. See you later.